the Save Our Seas Foundation have ventured to the small town Amkumas. From here, they are sponsoring and documenting pioneering research that will dispel the myths and reveal the true nature and behavior of tiger sharks. At the forefront of this research is Professor Vic Pedemors, a leading shark expert and the research project leader. Over the last few years, the team has been using acoustic tags to study the shark's movements in the area. Okay, two, three, go. Acoustic tags transmit a signal to listening stations positioned on the ocean floor. Vic and Mark are deploying a station on the Alawal Shoal. Another five have already been strategically positioned to cover a wide area that the team suspects the sharks frequent. The station is secured to a concrete block in a position that will allow good transponder coverage. Should a shark carrying an ultrasonic tag pass within 300 meters, then it'll pick up the tag's unique signal. The data recorder, the data logger, attached to the listing stations will actually tell you the time and the date, and, and then you can work out how long the animal was in that area. Um, let's see what comes up. There you go. Hmm, very nice. Okay, you got all six sharks. That's really great. So all six sharks have actually moved onto the reef. So, uh, yeah, good one. I'm very pleased. Once the data are downloaded, Vic will return the station so it can collect the next set of data, possibly providing results as interesting as the previous year. Last year's tags, we find that, in fact, these animals are going right up there, right past all the scuba divers, and no one actually sees them. So it's really quite interesting, showing again that these are not the big man-eaters that they made out to be, but they're actually keeping away. They'd rather keep their distance from humans. The interesting thing about the tags is that they've shown that the smaller animals are staying further inshore and the larger animals are offshore, suggesting that there's some sort of niche separation between the two sort of size categories. The tags have also indicated that smaller tiger sharks are in the area all year round, while larger ones, mostly females, are just migrating through. The team is eager to know whether the smaller sharks only move away when they reach about three meters, and whether the larger ones return annually. So we're hoping that the sharks will come back next year still with this tag attached to it. So little is known about tiger sharks. Though this research project is providing valuable insight locally, the team is eager for answers that only a broader scientific approach can give. The Save Our Seas Foundation is therefore expanding the project to include satellite tagging, which will provide information not only of the tiger shark's short-term movements, but it will unlock the mystery of their global movements. The benefit of working with Save Our Seas Foundation is that we're going to be really looking at the big picture. And I think that's really where it's all coming down to, is conserving sharks holistically and not just in KwaZulu-Natal or off Durban or anything like that. It's looking at the big picture. Mm -hmm.